When it comes to Jake Fire, his journey to URI was not an orthodox one. After playing his final down of high school football, the Stowe Mass native was unsure about what his future in football entailed. Well, initially, I, I was unsure of my plan to play college football, and I just I fell in love with the school. I visited with my parents, and I loved it and everything. You know, I talked to the coaching staff, and I had an opportunity to walk on here, and, you know, I'm forever thankful for that opportunity. After committing to URI, Fire did not play his freshman year. He earned his stripes like the other walk-ons. As he grew as a player and a person, he earned more playing time and recognition. Defensive coordinator Jack Cooper knows firsthand what Fire brings to the team. Yeah, he's, uh, he's made a tremendous impact on our, on our defense uh, on a daily basis. He's a very hard worker. He uh, brings a tremendous energy to practice. He's really the first one around on the field every single day. And, uh, you know, he does a really good job. So, yeah, he's, he's brought a lot to our defense from an energy standpoint. Uh, and, he's, and he's a relentless player in the game, too, as well. Uh, and then he's very hard in his studies. Mm. You know, he does a really good job uh, studying the playbook studying the film, studying the calls, studying the checks, and gets us in the right stuff in the game. Fire had an outstanding 2022 statistically, leading the Rams in tackles, quarterback hurries, forced fumbles, and even recording his first career interception in the Governor's Cup against Brown. Fire explained why he has been so successful this year. Uh, I think it's just overall just trusting Coach Coop and Coach Rennie and the rest of the defensive coaching staff, you know. They... they but just by playing within the scheme of the defense, you know, the plays will come your way, and that's something that they preach. Just play within the scheme, do your job, do what you can, and make the plays that come your way. And, you know, last season, you know, I, I maybe didn't do the best with that. But I maybe tried to do a little bit too much, try to play like my own style of football. And this year I've just completely bought into, you know, these coaches and what we're, what we're, what we're building here and uh, building for the future. So just by playing within the scheme of the defense, that's all. After spending six years here at Mead Stadium, Fire has developed a relationship with not only the defense, but the team as a whole. Here's what Jack Cooper has to say about what Fire means to not only the team, but the coaching staff as well. Yeah, he's uh, just from a tangible standpoint, he's going to push you uh, to be a lot better. Uh, he's going to push you schematically. He's going to do a lot of, he's going to ask you a lot of questions, right? He's going to ask you uh, different checks, different things that we need to get into. So he's going to challenge you as a coach, which is really good. And yeah, he, he's a pleasure to coach. He's obviously, we're going we're gonna to miss him big time next year. Mm -hmm. With all that glowing praise, Cooper sees a future for Jake in football after college, just not in pads. Free, but no, it's good. He's, he's a great player. He's going to be a really good coach, too, one day. Make sure you add that. He's going to be an awesome coach. Reporting for COM 204, I'm Eden Garvey.